Coach Dance, welcome to C3 Georgia. Is it hot enough for a... Uh... I mean, I'm used to it now, man. Down in Davidson, it's uh, it's humid over there. But, uh, I mean, I love the weather. I love the people in the south. It's uh, just a good environment for me. You know, you're from Virginia, though. You know, you went to Christiansburg and then later to, you know, right down the road to Blacksburg. Yep. Really Ten minutes apart. Yeah, ten, maybe five minutes if you drive fast. So, so yeah. you're right there, right? You got to stay in Virginia, you yeah. know, stayed home for college. And then you, you've had an interesting journey the last two years. I did. Where yes, did I you did. go right after Virginia Tech? So I went to the Chicago RTC. I was in Chicago for a little bit training still. I went to Sarah Pilato, Dave Schultz, and different tournaments like that. I did well, but I actually just found my love in coaching. Uh, I mean, I worked with a lot of guys at Northwestern, too. I worked with Sebastian Rivera all the way up to the 49, 57-pounder. And uh, I guess I kind of knew it was time when uh, I got more excited about Sebastian Rivera, All-American, in his freshman year than I did for anything I ever did in college. So I just I never knew about how excited I could get for someone doing that well. So uh, it's a, it was a different feel. I was kind of sad that I'm kind of leaving the wrestling world a little bit and kind of going on to coaching, but uh, I mean, who knows? I might, I might get that bug again. I might, I might want to compete more. You're looking at that, then you, you, you go from you know, Blacksburg, Chicago, now you're down in Charlotte, right? Yes, well, sir. near yeah. Charlotte, 15 minutes yeah. from Charlotte, right? Back in the South, you know, what's it like? What's a Midwest winter like for a guy like you? I want to know that. It's, uh, I mean, the best way to describe it, man, it's hell. It's, it's, it's awful. It's, uh, it's hard to deal with, it, especially being used to Virginia weather and the nice weather we have down here. I mean, you, we, we don't really don't realize how fortunate we are for this weather that we have. And I mean, uh, I think uh, two days before I was leaving Chicago, it snowed about about six inches. And uh, so when I got down to Davidson, it was about 70 degrees. You are ready to go? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so transition now. You're in North Carolina, you're at Davidson. Coach Lazar, he's he's sick of yeah, heart. Coach comes, Lazar. Lazar comes down, good dude. Real good dude. Was at Princeton for a minute? Yeah. Well, what was that like for you to, to make that adjustment? Now into coaching from competing and, and being an athlete. Um, it, I mean, it really, really wasn't too difficult for me. I mean, even when I was at Tech, I would help out guys a lot doing camps, clinics during the summer. And so I had that feel for coaching. I always had that love for coaching. And so I thought it was an easy transition. And then uh, going into Davidson College, it was just. I was blown away with how beautiful that campus was and how great the people were there. How much you could just tell how much everyone wanted wrestling to be to be kind of like their staple sport there. The alumni they want to see the program grow. We just did a fundraising thing. We raised half a million dollars for, for just for recruiting and stuff like that. So it's uh it's really going in the right direction. You know, you were at an ACC school, then you went to a Big Ten school. Funding's different. Yes. Can you guys still win there, in your opinion? Honestly, I mean, I've always heard negative things about it, but uh, in my first few months there, I, I'm, I would say we can definitely still do great things there. I mean, uh, we're already doing the right things now. I'm going to be traveling everywhere, we're going, going off and getting recruits. I mean, obviously, it's our hard school to get into. We're academically one of the most elite programs in the country, just as far as, I mean, we recruit right there with the Ivy League schools, the Cornells the Bucknells and the Princetons, we recruit all there right with them. And so, I mean, if they're doing well, we have that opportunity to do really well, too. And that's another big selling point for Davidson, too, is we have those great academics, and we have this great campus, we have these great facilities, and we have that tradition of doing well in other sports, too. So, I mean, it's just about that time where this wrestling program really needs to fire off. You know, you're looking, getting back down there. What's it take to get you out of Chicago? A phone call? What, how, how did the whole process of you going from... Chicago RTC to Davis. How yeah. that, how that I mean, I, I love my time at Chicago. I couldn't be more thankful for what Storny did with me over at Northwestern. I mean, I love working out with Brewer every day. I love working out with Hal. I just felt it was that time for me to actually get into, the, get into my coaching career. And I was still being connected with other colleges and talking to them about possibly coming to visit there. But when I visited Davidson, it was just all said and done then. I just fell in love with the campus, fell in love, love with the people. Me and Coach Lodger, I feel like we mesh really well together. Really positive people. And we want to see this program do well and do great things. And I, I promise you in the next five, five to ten years, we're going to be making some big moves. So I'm excited for it. All right. Do you make it back home much? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I love to see my family all the time, man. That's another reason why I stayed close to home and went to Virginia Tech. So. I had the option of maybe going to like Oklahoma State and some other big colleges, but uh, I stayed close to home and I couldn't have been more happy with my decision. Obviously, I uh, I wanted to do a little bit better in college and possibly get a national title in maybe one or two, but I mean, it's the way it goes, it's the way the sport goes, that's how I learn, evolve, and I think it's going to make me a better coach too, of seeing that. I mean, going into college, man, you're going to see your ups and downs, and so I've went through it all. I have, I've had my ups, I have had, I've had my downs, and that trans transitions well into coaching, too, so uh, I've got a good feel for the negative side of things when you get into uh, a bad place, and then you've got the positive side of things. How's your body feel? Uh, a little beat up, but I mean, uh, that's, that's about every single guy that goes through college. I mean, uh, I mean, I had my injuries going through college. I had a few different things going on with my body. I won't, I won't really say it, but yeah. Nick was really, Brissetta was here last year. Yeah. 
that dude had a lot going on. His and body fought him a lot of the way. He's actually hurt right now, too. He was supposed to Are be. Are you serious? It. So, yeah. yeah that, oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's uh, that guy, though, when he was in college, man, he was a fun guy to watch. He was a, he was a gamer. He was uh, one of those guys I looked, I looked up to on our team. He just he knew how to go after it, and he set that, that – uh, that mindset, that my, the right mindset, the right physical, physical set in the room. And he was just a great guy. Are you, are you gonna be? Are you good to, to, to roll? Can you still roll? Oh yeah, of course, of course. I mean, like I said, twenty twenty starts to roll around. I'm, I might get back on the mat. I'm not saying I'm done. So we'll see. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, man. Go Cats, and thanks, Flo, for what all you guys do.